This video is brought to you by Bright Sellers. Woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. Took a flight to Naples. It feels like I've been driving for hours. 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 I hope it's going to be worth it. It has to be worth it. I am excited, very excited, chaos. Wow. Just wow. What's up guys, salut, this is Alex. So right now I am in the south of Italy, an hour away from Naples, and I'm in a small town called Cagliazzo. Why am I here? Simple. I'm here to have possibly one of the best pizza experience on the planet. Nothing short. So I got invited by Franco Pepe himself, a friend, but also, you know, on the side, one of the very best pizza maker in this world. Now, I must tell you, I've been here before. Like, about three years ago, I had basically the best pizza experience of my life, and yet Franco Pepe told me that this was gonna get somehow better. How do you get better than the best pizzeria in the world? I don't know, let's find out. Hey, ciao. Ciao. Uh, do you know where I can find Franco Pepe? Ah, you are Alex? Yes. Please. Oh, wow, nice. Upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah. So last time I was here, I was dining right here. This is the main dining room. Ah. Tonight, things are not happening here. The guy said upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Even though, I'm not sure where I'm going. Seems a bit like I'm doing something wrong. How many floors are there? I think I have to go all the way up. Huh? Feels like I'm entering a secret spot. <sighs> yes, I'm at the top floor now. This is almost like an escape room thing. There are three doors. He said the one in the middle. Am I scared? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a touch, okay? Ciao Alex, Ciao, come, come stai? Come stai? Ben, ben, benvenuti in Autentica! Ah, grazie, Autentica. grazie! Autentica! Authentica! It's a pizzeria within a pizzeria. A pizzeria inception. I mean, you need to understand this place is not about money. It's only accessible to guests that Franco Pepe himself invites. E questo tavolo l'ho dedicato a papà. È il chef table di mio padre. A fine serata, dopo che aveva finito di lavorare con i clienti, gli piaceva con un amico mangiare una pizza e raccontare la pizza. Quel concetto di papà l'ho voluto portare qui in Autentica. Authentica opens when Franco wants. Non di più, tre o quattro volte al mese, perché è un puro divertimento. And in there, Franco cooks what he wants. Perché qui ci siamo solo io e te, il cliente mm. e Franco Pepe. It's a very direct relationship. Yeah, yes. Sure. Look at that. They wrote a custom menu just for me. How blessed do I feel right now? Very. Alex, yes. adesso ti devi sedere perché dobbiamo iniziare. Ok, ok, ok. I'm going to sit right here. So the master is going to be at work.
Let's talk about today's sponsor, Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is an online wine club that matches you with wine that you love. The service focuses on finding unique hidden gems sourced from small winehouse all over the world. It offers hundreds of private label wines, so you will be able to try a new wine that you've never tasted before. You will just need to take a seven question quiz and Bright Cellars will gather your taste preferences and deliver a personalized and unique box directly to you. What I love is that Bright Cellars offers a wine beyond your typical grocery store wine, including sustainable varietals and biodynamic wines, and the packaging is completely recyclable and plastic free. Okay, let's take the wine quiz. What is the one type of chocolate you could eat for the rest of your life? Dark chocolate. How do you like your tea? Brewed strong. What is your favorite juice? Grapefruit. Do you have a preference for red or white wines? No? Usually when you go to a wine store, the price is the first thing that decides which wine you're gonna buy. In this case, it's your personal preferences. You gotta like this. Bright Sellers is giving my followers 50% off their first six bottle box. That's six bottles for just $45. Follow the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today. Absolutely starving. I've been skipping lunch and breakfast for this. Must at work. <laughs> Super intense tomato flavor. Questa è la ritrovata, si chiama. È l'evoluzione della marinara. I mean, this almost belongs in a museum. Franco, I just felt what I felt three years ago. Goosebumps. So fresh. So on the pizza, you've got these fried leaves of basil. Wow, that's intense. Che cos'è questo? Il pianoro del Vesuvio. Pianoro del Vesuvio. Pianoro del Vesuvio. Wow, what is that? Oh, wow, it's almost like eating tomato sauce. Everything is subtle in this pizza, and no matter how beautiful that pizza is, the million dollar thing is the dough. So soft, so light, so chewy and delicate. So what you guys don't see behind the scene is that I am shooting this video with Joshua. Ciao. Editor and friend, and also the co-host of our podcast. How do you feel right now? Hungry, very hungry. Franco, can you get a slice for this guy? He's in pain. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> mamma mia. Shall we move on to the next one? Siamo solo all'inizio. Really feels like being with a sushi chef. Like you know that intimate relationship you get when you get omakase. Fritto. Something's gonna happen in the back. This one reminds me of the beach. What's the name of this one? Acciugrana. Oh, wow. Una crema di grana padano. Mm. This is mind blowing. With all this lemon zest on top. I thought it was gonna be too much. Not at all. Since it's a fried pizza, so it's a little on the rich side. And since there are anchovies, which are very much on the salty side, all this zest, this is exactly what's needed to, to make this pizza balance. Amazing, man. It is like the beach because you've got the citrus fruit that kind of reminds me of summer, but then also it's salty anchovy, which reminds me of the sea. And then the cream is like having an ice cream. Definitely like, it's, it's like a beach pizza. Guarda Alex, this is suino casertano. You know what chocolate. This guy is absolutely... Guarda. Pazzo. This lo mettiamo dentro deve essere l'ultimo morso di una composta di pomodoro. Queste sono delle chips di pecorino romano. Rocco. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Cured sausage. I don't know how to get there without getting my, my face dirty. Mm. I am hungry after four, five pizzas. Yeah, I'm waiting for the next one.
la bufala profumata. Wow, this one is a story on its own. Uncle Pepe just gave me something and it smells like pineapple. Che cos'è? È la pizza all'ananas. I knew it, he's a punk. Mamma mia. You didn't put it on the menu. No, a sorpresa. La riccio nero. Ah, man, that's my new perfume. Torno, sedano, la pastiera fritta. Un'idea di Stefano Pepe, mio figlio. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling. The citrus vibe, the peanuts, the creme. È una pizza? No, non è una pizza. No. It's over. It's over. Up, up. Hold on. Man, the pineapple is fresh and cool. Now I'm getting some balance. This is exciting. You need to open a place in Paris. Paris. Alex, no sorpresa. Sorpresa. Using celery on pizza like this. Recipe for success. You just need to be the world's best to put pineapple in the pizza and have Italian people eat it and love it. Love it. Love it. I'm starting to lose it. You made another one. <laughs> Tradizione neapolitana. Oh. 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 Eight or nine pizzas. Pizza. 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 In realtà io ti ho fatto fare un'esperienza dal salato al dolce, fritta e forno con un unico impasto, okay. l'impasto di Franco Pepe. Pepe, 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 Pepe. So, I'm still in Naples, but now I'm at the airport. This new restaurant of Franco Pepe's is, by all means, the best pizza experience I've ever had. Now, the pizzas, as amazing as they were, they were not better than last time I visited, three years ago. But the experience was better. Okay, you see, yesterday I had a golden ticket, a private access to the chef himself, to his mind, his heart, his stories. Can you put a price on this? I don't think so. Now the last question I want to answer is was it worth flying all the way from Paris to Naples just for one pizza night? Of course it was. Of course it was. It's always, always worth the travel. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the pizza experience. Uh, and we'll catch up in the next one. Okay? Bye-bye. Salut. Mamma mia, Jarez.